All right, guys, this video is going to look at the geometric die, and we're going to look at the bottom view, which is going to be our triangles. Let's create a sketch here. Now, there's no triangle tool, so I just have to use my line tool. And essentially what I'm going to do is just create a triangle. It's not even going to be perfect. Now, one major question and one problem I see is how do I line these up? How do I get them oriented and in the right place? Well, here's where I like to use construction lines. And I like to create one from a midpoint to the point, And then I do it again. I could actually do it three times, although it's just going to be redundant once everything's correct. So now that doesn't give me um, the correct center point yet because I haven't made my triangle correct. So if I make my side the correct size, which is 4.9 millimeters, and then I do an equals where all the sides are the right size, same size. Now, see this one kind of went goofy on me. Now, where these two cross, that's my center point. And if I'm not sure that's my center point, I can do the third side and check. It snaps to that middle point. And you see where all these three cross? That's your middle point. That's where you should be locating it from. And I like to just put a point right there because then it gives you something to dimension from. Okay. Now I can move this around, but it stays solid. And that is my equilateral triangle, meaning all three sides are the same. And that's what I want. Now it does give me an orientation of this side to this side of the die. And it wants that at 90. And the reason it won't let me put it is because I already have something in here dictating that. Let's see. Got some equal signs. So this there's already a parallel in here, which that's why. So it was probably parallel to the top or the bottom. And then essentially accomplished the, the same thing. But I want to make it mirror the drawing. I've used that perpendicular. Yeah, it was the perpendicular. Okay, try it again now. 90 degrees. Now it lets me put it in. And it was actually oriented correctly, but it's always a good habit to mirror everything in the drawing. Okay, now that said, I can repeat this that same process for this right side, or I can delete that. I can click, actually, try this. Go from the top, uh, top left to the bottom right, drag a box, and it selects everything in there. And then with your keyboard, hold down Control and click C for copy and V for paste. Now let's see if my computer does this without freaking out. And there, it just copied it. Oh, no, it didn't. Control C, Control V. I know, my internet was a shade slow. Okay. Let's, let's do something else here. We're going to take a construction line, and we're going to create two lines that completely bisect this uh, square into quadrants. So I'm just lining up the midpoints, and they are totally, completely constrained. And I'm actually going to dimension this right now, too. Um, and my dimension, to get this oriented correctly, is... 25.4 divided by 4, uh, referencing both the top and the left lines. Oh, oh sorry. 25 divided by 4. All right, so that's oriented correctly. And actually, right now, with everything I have, it is fully constrained. So here's a little trick. I'm going to drag. I'm going to click this mirror tool. And I've already got it selected. You see it highlighted blue. Click mirror line. And that gives me a second one. And watch this. I can do it again. Mirror. Select this line. And from one triangle, I just created four. And if I move this, it would also move the others. So the mirror can be a real time-saving, powerful tool. That's how you do your triangles. And this is how also you get them oriented correctly is with these uh, construction lines in the middle. It's probably the best.